Well, we have a group of boys and girls. The average saving for them is $245. We have equal number of boys and girls. Every saving just for the boys is $300. Okay. Now, um, first of all, I think we have to have a good concept on the average first. The average, in fact, should be the sum divided by the total number, right? So to get the sum, in fact, is average times the number. Am I right? The sum is average times the number. Now, before we come to that, I think we may need to set up some unknown. For example, the number of boys and girls, each one, um, they're equal, right? So let's say both of them call N and N each. So therefore, this one, when they combine together, later should be 2N. Average saving for boys is $300. Then for the girls, perhaps this one, uh, let's say for the girls, we just temporarily say that this is K dollar. Okay, K dollar. Okay. So with all this stuff, I think we can uh we can now set the equation. So um for the boys, the total sum will be the average 300 dollars times the n, so 300 n We do the same thing for girls also, which is K N. These two add together should be the total sum for boys and girls together, which will be 245 times 2n. So far, so good. Now to continue, we can cancel the n now. Because every term carry the n, we can cancel, like both sides divided by n. So this will end up 300 plus k equals to 490. In fact, the average for the girls will become 190, am I right? 190. Okay, now we come down to uh, check the statement. Huh? Each boy save more than each girl. Now you will based on the average saving seems like yes, because the boys is 300, for the girls we have calculated is 190. But please think very carefully, okay? For the boys, the average is higher, but it, this one doesn't mean that for each boy, the saving will be more than the girls. Okay, this one, make sure that you have a clear concept on this. So by, right, the answers for this one should be not possible to tell. Can be yes, can be no, okay? Second, the, the average saving for the girls is more than $300. Now, obviously, the answers that we have calculated is, is only 190, right? So therefore, $300, more than $300, this statement confirmed to be incorrect, false statement.